Okay, so right now we're gonna generate a cut list. I'm good. So let's generate a cut list. Before we do that, we need to make sure that we have applied uh, the appropriate material that we're going to be using for this job. Right now, this is just default, so there's no really material. So you can either uh, get that from your manufacturer, or if you have them in the library already, like I do, you can just pick any of these. I'm going to pick this as uh, the material that I'm going to be using. Uh, it's a 0550 maple. So make sure both cabinets have the material now. And then before we generate a cut list, we also want to make sure that they have that special code uh, to let the program generate a cut list. So you double click and go to general to get the name and you copy the name. Then you go to advance, open bracket, paste, and close the bracket, with the square bracket. Click OK. Repeat with the next cabinet. Now this was a B36. So you copy. Square bracket, open, square bracket, close. You must do this on each cabinet. That's the only way uh, you're telling the program to generate a cut list. In fact, when you're building your library, you can save them with that code so you don't have to keep doing this again. All right, so now uh, let's go to file, export, cut list. And this is what we get uh, it's a text file not very easy to read so we're gonna export this data uh, before we do that we save as basically we're trying to convert it into a CSV file Excel spreadsheet which we don't need to read but it will be imported into the Cutlist plus so we're gonna force it to change to CSV call it cut list uh, well I've done a lot of files called cut list so let's call it uh, cut list 2021 How about that and we're gonna save it under my desktop click save and close now open cut list plus go to file import parts we go to my desktop I'm gonna sort by date oh it's already sorted so I'll just scroll down cut list 2021 open and right here everything's already set up for you so all you have to do is just click finish and you see 24 mil parts came in eight lines kept does not appear to be parts uh, that's because um, we came in with a new a new material that might not be in already set up in the cut list plus if you look at this column you see the material name 0550 maple and that's exactly how we have it in pro 100 zero five five zero maple that's the neighborhood so you could be using any melamine blah 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 you get the point so now um let's go back to the cut list okay and um what we're going to do now is to set up the sheets so we set up the raw materials where do you buy them uh, it's always sheet goods if you press on that you'll see it's already generated for you you know it wasn't there before it just got generated right now and when you click on the first row it will automatically uh, populate and generate data you can now 
uh, change them based on where you get your material, how much they cost. 48 by 96 is very common if you live in North America. Uh, so in the, in my case, be, now remember all my bags are half inch, so I need two types. So I need another, just double click and change it to half inch. And you see now I have, uh, I can also include the price if I know the price. So now if I go to my layouts, uh, it's sh telling me, now layouts would tell me it will, it will have A, B, C, D, blah, 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 depending on how big your project is. I mean, how uh, different materials you're using. So we have the first sheet, which is this one. I'm going to be cutting uh, this to back panels all right it's telling you that you need one sheet and this is the best way to cut it uh, if you click on the the panel you see it's corresponding to what you have in the list now let's go to the next the next one this is where most of the cutting will be happening uh, the system is telling me that I need to buy or I need to make sure that I have in my storage uh, one, two, three sheets, and it's also showing me the best way to cut these materials. Notice if when I select any of the pieces, then the corresponding list shows this is a shelf. Oh, 17. If I click on three, what is three? I don't know what it is. Oh, that's uh, that's the bottom panel of the B33 so everything is very easy here. so if for this project we need four sheets in total three of three quarters one and you just then pull them out and start cutting if you have any questions pro100usa.com thank you for watching